by 30, a Marine considered a person of interest in the death of a recruit returned to court today. Frank Lipka still is not charged in Joey Brancato's death, but the Brancato family is convinced their patience will pay off. WBZ's Bill Shields has the story. 39-year-old Frank Levka. Prosecutors say he threatened a pizza delivery driver with a gun. He did this by racking the, uh, the slide on the semi-automatic handgun. But this court hearing was small potatoes compared to what Brancato's family suspects. They think Lipka has the answers about Joey's death. He didn't act violent in the courtroom. He acts very meek. He looks down. But he does have a violent side. And they did say he does have PTSD. So he is dealing with problems and issues. This is Joey Brancato of Winthrop. His life's dream was to become a Marine. He met up with Frank Lipka, a Marine recruiter and moved into Lipka's Roslindale home in hopes of getting into the Marine Corps quickly. But then Brancato disappeared, and his body was found along Interstate 95 in Canton last March. So far, Lipka has not been connected to Brancato's death, but the young man's family believes it's only a matter of time. We're hopeful because we do have Joey and we do have the information leading up to finding Joey that we will get a conviction of Frank Lipka for the death of my nephew. So Frank Lipka is free on bail, but investigators are still looking into the possibility that he's connected to the death of Joey Brancato. In Boston, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.